Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now I am going to solve this problem 121. So in this problem it is said that the two forces acting on the handles of the pipe trenches constitute a couple M. So we need to express the couple as a vector, right? So these are two forces that are opposite forces and they are producing a couple, right? So if we look into these two forces from this direction, right, from this x-axis direction, so these two forces are producing a couple about this x-axis, right? And the direction of that couple is clockwise, right? So it is these two forces are producing clockwise couple about x-axis, right? And what will be the magnitude of that? Let's suppose if I write that the couple about x is equal to so then this will be equal to 150 into the perpendicular distance. So along y this is the perpendicular distance, right? So if we look into these two forces from this direction, so then this plus this will be the perpendicular distance between these two forces, right? So it will be 500 mm, right? So I will write 500. And if you want to have the answer in Newton meter, so we will divide this by 1000 to get the answer in Newton meter, right? And since this is the clockwise, right, so we will put minus sign here. And if we curl our right hand fingers in this clockwise direction, so our thumb should direct in the negative x direction, right? So this will be the direction of our thumb, right? So this means that this couple about x is negative, right? In the negative i direction, so we will write minus, right? So when so this will be equal to minus 150 divided by 0 0.5 i so this will give us minus 75 i right so more couple about x is minus 75 i and now if we look into these two forces from this direction from the positive y direction right so if we look into this so then these two couples will produce the counterclockwise moment so it will produce a moment like this right so from this side it will look counterclockwise and from this side it will look clockwise right so and what will be the magnitude of that let's suppose if i write so this is the couple about y axis is right so i will write m y and if we curl our fingers in this direction so the thumb should direct in the positive y direction right so if if you people curl your finger in this direction, so the thumb will point out in this positive y direction, right? So this means that this couple about y is counterclockwise. So we need to put plus sign here. So it will be plus and the magnitude will be 150. And now the perpendicular distance between these two forces will be this distance, right? This 150 mm. From this direction, this is the perpendicular distance between these two forces. So we will write 150 mm, right? So 150 and we need, we will divide it by 1000 to get the units in Newton meter, right? So this will be plus 150 and this will be 0.15. And if we solve this, so we will get plus 22.5 and this is about J. So we will write J, right? So this is J. So now the total moment due to these two forces will be equal to the total couple will be equal to mx plus my, right? So this will be equal to minus 75i plus 22.5j, right? So we have solved this by using the inspection method. Now there is one another method as well. If we consider this point as an origin, right? Let's suppose if this is an origin, right? And this is the positive x direction and this is the positive y direction. So this will be the positive z direction, right? So this is, let's suppose, positive z. This is positive z, right? So now if we find the moment of these two forces, right separately and then we add up as they are making a couple right so we will find the total moment of these two 150 newton forces right so if i draw the moment arm for this 150 newton 
if this is the origin let's suppose that this is the origin right so if i draw the moment arm for this force let's suppose if i draw so this will be the moment arm for this force right and if we write that this is r a let's suppose so if you want to find the moment of this 150 newton force about this point o so what will be that moment let's suppose if i write that moment and let's consider that this is the positive z so this is the positive 150 newton right so i will write that moment of positive 150 newton right so this will be r a cross f right and this force is if we represent this force in vector form so then this will be plus 150k right and if we represent this force so then this force will be minus 150k right and what will be this vector r a right so if we if if we say that this is point a so what will be the coordinates of this point a from this origin right this is the negative y direction so we need to travel 250 mm in the negative y direction so i will write 0 and this will be minus 0 0.25 250 mm is equal to 0.25 meters right and this is 0 right so these are the coordinates of point a so now if we write our a vector so our a vector can be represented in these coordinates so it will be minus 0 0.25 j right and now if we take the cross product of these two so this will be minus 0 0.25 j cross 150k right so this will be equal to minus 0 0.25 into 150 and j cross k right and what is j cross k so if i draw this diagram again so i j and k so j dot k is i right so j cross k is i so this will give us i right and this will be this is 0.25 into 150 so this will give us if i solve this so this comes out to be minus 37.5 i right so this is the moment due to this positive 150 newton force along the positive k right so and if you want to find the moment due to the negative 150 newton force so then it will be let's suppose that the moment arm for that is rb let's suppose so rb cross let's suppose if this is fa so then this will be fb right so then what if this force is fb and this is fa right so this is the vector representation of fb it is in the negative k direction and we need to draw the moment arm vector from the origin right so this will be that moment arm vector and let's suppose that this point is b right so we need to write the coordinates of this point b so what will be the coordinates of point b so to reach this point b we need to travel this much distance in the positive x direction so i will write plus 0 0.15 meters right and then in the y direction we need to travel this much distance so it will be 0 0.25 meters and since this point b is in the x y plane so there is no need to travel in the z direction so the z coordinates is zero right so now if we write that moment arm vector rv so we can write it directly in terms of these coordinates so it will be 0.15 i plus 0.25 j plus 0 k so this is that rb vector right so now if i write so moment due to fb is equal to so it will be 0 0.15 i plus 0 0.25 j cross and it will be minus 150k right so if we take the cross product so it will be minus 0 0.15 into minus 150 and this will be i cross k and this will be plus 0 0.25 into minus 150 and this will be 
j cross k so this will be the same thing and i cross this is i cross k so i cross k will give us minus j so this will become minus j right so if i write so this will be minus j and this is j cross k so j cross k will give us i right so when i solve this so i get plus 22.5 j and this is minus 37.5 i right so now we can add these two moments as well these two are vectors right so if i write so this is vector so if we want to find the resultant of these two vectors so it will be moment total moment total couple and it will be equal to moment due to f a plus moment due to f b and we can write moment due to f a as this one right this is f a so moment due to f a this is minus 37.5 i plus this is the moment due to f b right so it will be 22.5 j minus 37.5 i right so if i remove this so this we can add this i component right so i with i so this will give us minus 37.5 minus 37.5 so it will give us minus 75.0 i plus 22.5 j right so this is the total moment produced by these two forces so this is the vector representation of the couple produced by these two forces right so we got that same answer right so we got this by inspection and this is by using the proper cross product method right